In this video, let's have a look at the other type of slides you can use in your videos with Explaindio. And we've already got this first slide here that we created earlier. Let's create a new sketch scene. Now, this is the canvas that opens and the canvas allows you to create the scenes within your sketch scene. So let's just start by adding some text. And we've got some text here that we can move around. We can also resize it. And you can see that is resizing to scale because we've got this little lock attached. What I can do is unlock it and then I can skew it any way I want to. But I want to increase it. Let's have a look. Right. Let's just put in some text for that. Explain to your video creator. And the text is a bit big, so let's decrease the size a little bit. We can also change the colour. And the other thing we can control is the colour of the pen that draws this text. First off, let's just click on Close Canvas and we can have a look. Once you close the canvas, you can then see the preview screen. And you can see that the pen is drawing in the same colour as the text. I can actually change that. If we go back to Open Canvas, I can say that I want it drawn in a different colour. Now, obviously this doesn't make an awful lot of sense to do it in this example, but you can see there now I've changed the colour in which it's drawn. As soon as it's drawn, it will then go back to the colour that I selected. So let's just have that text there and let's add an image. And Explaindio comes with a number of images that you can use. Let's add this one and let's rotate it with the rotate button. And we can add another image here. And it doesn't really matter what we're going to add. Let's add a colour image and see how that's going to work. Right, so we've added some bits to our scene. We've got text, we've got an arrow and we've got this hot air balloon. And in the top up here you can see that it's actually created three slides, one for each item in the scene. Now, just for the sake of it, let's just duplicate that first slide. We're going to have it at the start and we're going to have it at the end. Watch what happens when I drag the slide past the scene. You see, I can't put it in between the slides of the scene. It just jumps to the end. And that's because the scene is a single entity made up of slides and you can't actually split it then. So let's just have a look and see what this video would look like if we rendered it now. Got the opening. We've got the text. Then we've got the arrow being drawn. And then finally the hot air balloon and then the closing slide. So let's just close that and see what we can do with this. Let's go back to the opening slide and see what options we've got for this. First off, the scene allows us, if we click on the scene tab, it allows us to put in a background image if we want to. So let's just have a look. In fact, let's not put that. Let's just pick one from the gallery, character from the gallery, and see. And you see that the character is added into the scene. Let's just move this up a little bit and then that makes a bit more sense. Close canvas. Okay, we probably wouldn't want to do that, but anyway. So we can put a background image into the scene. We could also put an MP4 FLV video as the background to the scene if we wanted to. We saw that in an earlier video how we did that to normal slides. We can do it to these sketch slides as well and we can then choose what happens after the scene has been run. You can shift down, fade out, shift up and so on. But I suggest you have a play around with those to see what they do. Let's move on to the next tab. This is text. You can see here, this is the text that we've got on our scene. And from here we can edit the text. We can edit the font family, size, F, um, text color and so on. Now if we had another bit of text on the slide, let me just show you this. If we put another piece of text on the slide, you might wonder what's gonna happen. Well, let's try it. I'll add the text just down here and leave it as default text sketch. It doesn't matter. Close canvas. Well, you can see it's been added as a separate slide. So when you click on the text tab there, although that slide, it looks like there's two bits of text on it, they're actually separate slides. So you can 
edit the text properties of this one or the text properties of this one by clicking on the relevant slide. The slide tab allows us to do an interesting thing and that is draw on previous slide. If we turn that off, in fact it won't let me do it for this one because this is the first one. But let's move to, let's say, the third one where we draw the hot air balloon. If we turn that off, then watch what happens. Let me just move this out of the way so we don't slow the video down. Let's just do a preview, see what happens. We've got the text, the arrow is drawn, and then the hot air balloon is drawn on a completely fresh background. And that's what this does, draw on previous slide. Because we've got it turned off there, then it doesn't draw it on the previous slide. This is the previous slide, remember. Let's just get rid of that. Character, let's remove him. We see that a little bit better. Got the arrow being drawn. And then the hot air balloon is on a separate canvas. And that's because we had this slide turned off. The arrow, it's turned on, so the arrow is drawn on the previous slide, and this is the previous slide here, the text. So let's have a look at the next option, this action before. Again, you can select any of your slides to do this. Let's just choose the hot air balloon. What we can do is we're going to sketch it by hand, but what happens if we click this overwrite sketch line color? You can see we've now changed the color that's being drawn. Let's uncheck that and click on this button, draw hand under the sketch, and watch what happens now. You can see, well you probably can't see so well, but the hand is underneath the balloon as if it's being drawn from the background. However, with our choice of hand, it doesn't really work very well. So let's just change the hand. And you can see here we've got the option of changing the hand to one that is actually facing the screen. And now you can see it's been drawn from the background. We can also tilt the hand. as you can see, and flip it horizontally as well, if you so desire. The delay before the action, this is how long to delay before the drawing takes place. The action duration is how long it actually takes to draw. Now, clearly, the longer you take to draw, the better the drawing is, or at least the more natural it looks, but it's a bit too long, perhaps, for most videos. So you need to speed it up a little bit so people don't get bored. Unless you've got a lot of talking in there, then that's fine. And again, you've got pause after action. So once it's been drawn, you can pause it before it moves on to the next frame. The other thing you can do, at the moment we've got it being drawn by hand, but we could have it brought in in different ways. So we could have it flew in by hand. There we go, it's moving it in. This is, that hand is actually under the drawing. So let's try and refresh that. Now the hand is on top of the drawing. And of course we can set the hand. Let's move it to that. Have another look. And I've got the duration of the action quite long, so let's just speed that up. There you go. Now a hand flies in, bringing the object with it. So let's have a look again, a quick preview of what we've got so far. Okay, so you can see how everything's starting to fit together. So the final option then is action after, and this is what happens after the drawing has been drawn. So let's say, let's move on to this arrow one again and say we want to fly out by hand. Let's preview and see what happens now. You can see that the hand actually dragged that arrow out and you can decide which direction and the duration of that. Let's just preview it again. And of course you can change the hand if you want to as well. You've also got the options of course of drawing the hand under the sketch, tilting the hand and so on, just like you do with the action before. So the slide 
will decide this slide tab here will decide whether it's drawn on the previous slide or not you can also set a background for the slide so each of your slides could have separate backgrounds and then the action before is what happens before you start to draw and the action after is what happens after the drawing is complete so you can manipulate what your slides look like and the great thing about this is you can mix and match normal slides with sketch slides which makes it a very very powerful tool indeed the only other thing you might want to do probably is to add some audio and we'll look at that in another video